so let's see how we can make uh, trap hi-hats I'm gonna remove those and I usually make my drums an impact but if I want an element of my drums to be um, a little more advanced I use sample one and it comes like this if you open it up and I just remove the filter because uh, it cuts my high end and re I remove the LFO and turn the velocity at 100% so I will have my grid at 8th notes and I can just draw one and just duplicate that so now we have this and let's start with the empty spaces first I usually leave out a lot of space so I will remove like not the one note at the downbeat but where you see no number here so that's not a rule but we need to start somewhere so so that's a simple rule you can follow to um, leave some space as for the roles um, me personally I use the 32 grid and what I do let's say we have another rate note here so I would draw one note leave a gap draw another one and it sounds like this let me mute everything else We have this triplet effect. Of course, we could pitch a note up or down. Um, at the same 32 note grid, we could also um, split one note and we can do it from here. Let me turn on. Or we could do two notes in a row so let's move on to um, I'm gonna go to 32 note triplets so what we can do here I usually do let's say we have that eighth note and I'm gonna remove it make two notes remove the next make two notes and you can pitch those up or down let's see how it sounds so we have this effect um, of course we can add three notes but I like the sound of two uh, we can also do that um, let's say glitch effect by splitting a note at grid and if we move on to 16th note triplets sounds like this let's split one at grid So another one I use is the 8th note triplets and we need to remove, you can see the grid here that it needs 3 notes to fill that space so it has this sound let me have them all the same
Um, the trick with all this is to know what sound they make and that comes with practice um, let's see what we have until now so I, I will usually stick to one or two different type of grids for one pattern and also we can play around with some of the simple notes we can add some lower pitched eighth notes um, it's gonna sound like a perk see how our drums sound You can see there's a lot of room for experiment and hope you had fun and learned something and I'm gonna see you next time. Cheers.